awesome sauce. Scene one, Apple, take one. So I was cleaning out some drawers and stuff like that, and I had found this. I had found this old stun gun of my wife's, and I had put um, battery in it. And we're getting some shocking experiences from it. Okay, now. I don't know what the voltage is on this. I don't know what it's, it's pumping out, but we can actually figure that out. And we do it by measuring. So the way that you can figure out what the voltage is, is you measure the gap, okay? Um, what we'll do is we'll measure this. It's easier if you have something that measures centimeter. Um, eh, it's a half inch, okay? And after you end up having your half inch, what you do is you have to convert that over into uh, centimeters okay and uh, per inch you get about two and a half maybe it's like 2.54 centimeters per inch okay so um, knowing that we can say that this is like one and a quarter okay one and a quarter centimeters and what we'll do is we'll take one and a quarter and then we multiply that by 30,000 so this is probably somewhere between like I would say maybe like 37 and maybe 40,000 volts okay somewhere along those lines that's a lot of voltage not a lot of amperage after I saw that this was working, um, immediately I started thinking about capacitors. And I was thinking, what would happen if I hooked a capacitor up to this and uh, went ahead and uh, gave it the old turn on? What would happen? Would the capacitor explode? And for those that are unfamiliar with capacitors, let me give you a brief rundown. A capacitor is an electric component, okay? And we end up having two plates with two leads coming off and in between these plates we have uh, what is known as a dielectric and the dielectric is something that's like an insulator it doesn't allow these two plates to touch okay but what happens is every capacitor has a voltage rating like this particular one right here says that it's got 25 volts and that is the voltage that this dielectric breaks down okay and if it breaks down at 25 uh, volts then we can have electricity pass from point A to point B. Okay? Generally when that ends up happening, you end up having a capacitor that goes kaboom. So now generally what will happen is on the tops of uh, a capacitor, like this is an electrolytic, we see that it's negative on one side, positive on the other, um, we have these, these marks and this is in case something happens inside here and it explodes, it goes poof and it will come out of the top. Okay? That's what that's for. But I'm wondering, I am wondering, what is the voltage? 25 volts on this. I'm wondering, if I end up sticking a couple of leads right here and it goes over to the stun gun, you know, that is 25 volts compared to like 37,000 volts. That's a huge difference. So, I've got uh, three different capacitors that I don't really care what happens to them. And what we'll do is we will take one lead here and we will place it. Let's do it on the large one first. Um, I don't know which side is negative and I don't know which side is positive. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this paper. Anything that could potentially catch on fire, I don't want it anywhere near this. But what I'm going to do, um, just in case this thing actually ends up um, doing like a massive uh, explosion or something like that. Um, I want to be protected so I'm not going to end up getting hit with any of the uh, shrapnel. Okay, so I have a big Pyrex bowl here. Okay, all right, guys, here we go. I'm not getting anything. Um, Let's see what happens if I end up taking one end off and maybe putting it on the ground or something. Nothing. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, let's see if we end up changing out to this. It wasn't even getting hot. Let's see what happens if we change out to a very, very small one. And this one says 10 volts. Okay. Okay. Just making sure that we still got a little something here. 
Ready? Nothing. It's basically high voltage, very, very low amperage, right? So it just simply doesn't have enough current to cause this thing to explode. Has this created holes inside the dielectric though? That's maybe burned up like little portions of it? Probably, these, these capacitors probably leak now. And uh, when I say leak, in other words, there's uh, a, a spot in the dielectric that it can probably just kind of, the, the current can just kind of cruise through. So I essentially probably ruined these. So I'm gonna throw them away to make sure I don't ever use them. Anyway, interesting experiment. These things are such pieces of shit. Uh, when I was younger, I used to shock myself with these things. Me and my brother used to attack each other with them, um, see what we could handle. Of course, now I've got, you know, arrhythmias, and I'm afraid that if I shock myself with it now, I'd probably go into cardiac arrest. <laughs> but back in the day, it was it was kind of a joke. Anyway, yeah. So that said, it looks like um, discount imports, L.A., California. Well, that explains why it's a discounted imports because it's kind of a hunk of crap. Maybe what we'll do in one of these uh, future videos is actually just take this apart and see what's inside here. Couldn't be too much, all right? But we'll find out. But anyway, guys, that's that. That was an interesting experiment. I was just curious to see what was gonna happen. Nothing, okay? I think I just ruined a couple of capacitors, that's all. Anyway, got some new videos shortly. Till next time, talk to you later.